Jason Rodriguez with SuperLeagueBoxing.com. We are here at Champs Boxing Club in Danbury, Connecticut with the one, the only, Finelli Feliz Jr. I almost said senior. Junior, how you doing, brother? Good, good. Good, yeah. man. Hey, listen, man, it was a pleasure, man, to be able to come up to Danbury tonight, to be able to watch you and your father go through your training routine. I know that tonight, more or less, is like the last night of training camp. Yes, sir. Leading up to Monday, this Monday night, you're stepping back into the ring at the National Golden, Golden Gloves, yep. and you're gonna be engaging in a heavyweight battle. Yes, sir. Not sure who your opponent is right now, but I know you're going there focused and ready to do some damage. Of course. Listen, I was watching you go through your routine with your father. You were doing mitts. Bro, you have a serious snap on that punch, man. Tell me a Thank little you. bit about that snap. I mean, that's that's my advantage right there. You know, I have a, usually heavyweights are slow and sluggy, you know, they, you know, huh, huh. I'm, I'm fast, you know, not to be cocky or anything, but the speed, you need a lot of speed in the sport. Speed kills, power hurts, but speed kills, always. So you're gonna engage in a heavyweight battle. You've been training hard, hard work and dedication here at Champs Boxing Club under the watchful eye of your father, Finelli Feliz Sr. Also under the watchful eye of AJ Calante. Yep. And um, you know, tonight you look really, really impressive. You look sharp, you look, you know, focused, you look in great shape. Um, tell me how training camp has been for you up to this point right now. It's been good, man. My daily routine, I, I wake up seven o'clock in the morning. I train with my dad early in the morning, uh, pads and bags and, you know, boxing in the morning. Then I do some weight lifting around like two to three blocks, shoulders, back, you know, strength, conditioning. Then at night I do my sprint and my jogging, three, four miles. Now, you know, as I'm in the gym and I'm looking around at all the banners that are posted all around the gym, I see your name on almost every banner. I mean, it looks like you had a crazy year for 2016. You had a, you know, you're starting off this year. I see your name up there, 2017. I mean, 2016, it says here, you're the ringside champion, the Sugar Brook champion, you're Western New England champion. I mean, it's like, it's like you, you, you're sweeping everything that comes your way. Tell me about that. It's a blessing from God, you know. I have a lot of faith in God, and he's been, he's been helping me through this journey, you know. And I, could, I can't do it without God, without my dad, AJ, you know, for help. For, he's, he's a major part. A lot of people see me, you know, boxing and my dad training me and stuff, but AJ's a big part in what I'm doing, you know, since day one. He's been there. Now, you know, some people say that the heavyweight division is dead. You know, um, there's not really too much going on in that division. I know you as an amateur, your focus eventually at some point is to become a pro. Of course. Stepping into the ranks of a pro is your mindset as an amateur right now when I get there, I'm gonna make some rumbling noise. Oh, of course. Even in the even in the amateur a amateurs, that's why I wanna. Um, that's why I'm, I'm I'm trying to stay undefeated. You know, I want to prove a point. So when I turn pro, they they already know who I am. You know what I mean? My goal is to make it to the 2020 Olympics, and then um, you know, destroy, keep destroying whatever comes my way. Monday night when you step into the ring, what can fans in the seats at the National Golden Gloves expect out of Fidelli Feliz Jr.? So a lot of a lot of speed, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of speed, maybe a knockout, maybe drop somebody, you never know, you know. All I know is that I'm gonna go in there and give it my all. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go in there focused and I'm determined to win. I'm determined to bring it back. Excellent, well, Finelli, it's been an honor and a privilege to be able to come up to Danbury, Connecticut and spend some time with you and your team. Uh, you, look, you look sharp, you look ready. I know Monday night you're gonna do some damage. I, honestly, I gotta keep it real. I feel bad for the person that's gonna step into the <laughs> ring with you because that snap is so intimidating. So Thank whoever you. it snaps on, yeah. It might snap their neck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, just wanted to say thank you to like the fans and everybody supporting me, my mom, my dad, uh, AJ, you know, just everybody. And thank you so much, man. This is the best right here. This is this is the best right here. Super Elite Boxing, the best of the best. Thank you so much for I, coming back. I truly appreciate that. God bless you. Monday night, wish you nothing but the best. Thank the sky's you. the limit, my brother. Thank God you. bless. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for watching.